Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? I'll let your boy back again with another video. So, don't you hate when there's like a big update that's coming? If you're like, I need this update, let me get this thing now. When the update do come, you're going nuts. You're there checking the update, you're trying to just pull it and, and you can't get it. Well, for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass this. You will be able to install the update day one that Google releases these images. So, without any further ado, let's go! All right, y'all, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this on our device. Now, before we get started, you're gonna need three things. Number one, your bootloader has to be unlocked. So before you can proceed any further, you must unlock the bootloader. I'll leave links to everything down below. So you make sure you click on those links. That way you're able to get all the information that you need. If you do not know how to do that, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Second, you're gonna need the SDK platform tools. And third, you're gonna need the actual image itself so let's go ahead and get those things downloaded so let's go ahead and go to google here and we're going to type in factory images and we're going to go to the first link right here we need two things off of this page i'm going to scroll down also on this page this will show you how to unlock the bootloader now in order to flash this you have to have the latest version of fast boot or adb installed we're going to come right here and we're going to download the SDK platform tool. We're going to click there, scroll down to see download and whatever system you on, this is what you use. I'm on windows. So we're going to click download on windows and we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit, I have agreed. Go ahead and download that. We're going to go back and we're going to scroll down. Now we need the image. Here we are right here, Pixel 6. These are all the images that Google has released. And we want to make sure that we get the December patch. You want to make sure that you download the correct one for your device. You don't want to boot loop or even worse, you don't want to brick your device. So you make sure you download the correct one. And for me, I have the Pixel 6 Pro. Now we want the one ending in 016A1. This is the one I want. I have a unlocked pixel. I don't know what this is, so don't even attempt to download this one. If you got your pixels off of carriers, then you wanna download this one. And I guess this is for overseas. I am going to click that link and it should start downloading. We can go ahead and close out of this. So now we wanna go to our download folder. We wanna go ahead and drag and drop this one. We want to grab that zip as well, place it to the desktop, and we can close this out. Now we have the platform tool folder that we need, and we have the actual zip that we need. Now what we want to do is go to our platform tool folder, and we want to drag this to the desktop. And as you see, I already have mine here, but we can get rid of this, because now we have the actual folder that we need. So we're gonna go inside a platform tool and inside of here, you should see some files. What? That factory images zip. We're gonna double click that zip. And inside of that zip, you should see a folder that says Raven. Double click that folder and inside of that folder, you should see like six items. We only need four of these items. What we wanna do is hold control and click radio. We wanna click that image, all that bad. And we wanna click bootloader. All we're gonna do is drag and drop these on over to the platform tool folder. So we can close this out. Now what we wanna do is go and connect our phone to the PC. So before I go ahead and connect it to my PC, we wanna go into settings and make sure we turn on developer options. We're going to scroll down and scroll down to about phone, scroll down to build number and you tap on build number five or six times and then it's going to tell you you are a developer then you're going to scroll back and then you're going to go into system you should see developer option right there so we're going to click there then we're going to scroll down until we see usb debugging so you want to make sure you have that toggled on once you have that toggled on 
we scroll out of here uh, now we're going to go ahead and connect our phone to the pc we have a pop-up that asks do we want to allow usd debugging so we're going to go ahead and select always allow and select allow now we're going to come back over here to our platform tool folder and we're going to type in the address bar up here we're going to type c m d when hit enter after that you should have a command window that pops up now we're going to type a b b devices and then we're going to hit enter we do have some numbers that popped up and it said device now that i know adb recognized my phone from here we're going to type adb reboot boot loader and we're going to hit enter now this should boot our phone into fast boot mode there we go so now we're going to go ahead unlock this bootloader go back to the developer page and scroll down until we see the command right here now that we are in fast boot we're going to open up the command window again now we want to type fast boot devices hit enter the pc recognize the phone and fast boot so that's good right there we can minimize this all we're gonna do is copy this bring this up you're gonna hit control v and once you hit enter this is going to unlock the boot loader we're gonna go ahead and hit enter so we're gonna hit volume up and make sure we have unlocked the boot loader selected now this will erase everything on your phone so before you do this make sure you back up anything that you want backed up because this is going to delete everything so we are going to go ahead and hit unlock the phone is unlocked so what we're going to do go back to the command window and what we're going to do is we're going to type fast boot reboot boot loader hit enter we reboot it so we should be good we're going to close this out and now we want to go back to our platform tool folder which we have right here and we're going to look for the flash all dot that which is this file right here once we double click it's going to do its thing it's going to flash a bunch of things so don't worry about it don't do nothing just let it do its thing so we're going to go ahead and double click it's flashing a bunch of stuff phone rebooted it's going to reboot a few times so don't worry let this do its thing all right y'all so here is the moment of truth so once this thing reboots we should be on the latest and greatest and we're just gonna give this here a second hey we are booting up that right there is how you get that done so you no longer have to wait for google if you want to go ahead and flash the images and get it day one the day that it's released we're gonna give this here a second, let it boot up into the boot up minute. Hey, there we go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this all up and we're gonna see if we are actually on the December patch. As you see, we are on December 5th patch. If you have any questions about this, leave your comments down below. Also, if you gotta get lost, don't hesitate to hit me up on Twitter. That's where I'm always at. If you guys like this video, do your boy a favor, smash that like button. Also, if you guys have not subscribed yet and you're thinking about it, think no longer. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss out on any future videos. Hope you guys stay safe out there and I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Later.